Hello class, and welcome to our podcast about water pollution. During the podcast, please pay close attention to the things that do and do not belong in the ocean. So we've been studying the ocean in our class and the animals and habitats that they live in. Uh, but today we are going to be discussing a problem that often occurs in our world. Today we're going to talk about water pollution. This picture shows a bird that's covered in oil um, from an oil spill. And when birds are covered in oil like this, um, they can't fly and they can't clean themselves. Um, but the problem is if they don't get clean, they can die because they need to fly in order to get all the food um, that they need so they can survive. Um, this picture shows our world. Um, it's a flat picture of our world. Um, our earth is round, but the picture helps us to understand that most of the surface of the earth is water. 71% of the Earth's surface is made up of water, um, and the rest of the Earth is land, uh, just like what we live on now. Unfortunately, there are many causes of water pollution. This picture shows just some of them. There is oil and chemicals that are leaking into the ocean. Um, the sign says sewage outlet, which is like stuff that comes out of your toilet. There is a man dumping garbage onto the sand. There's bottles and cans. There's even a car um, that's leaking into the ocean. There's birds on the sand eating garbage. Um, there's a man driving by in his car throwing a can out his window. So this is just one type of water pollution. Um, there's also pollution like this, which is industrial waste. And industrial waste um, just means that a factory is dumping things into the water that is running through their factory and that water is leading into a stream which leads into a river which leads leads out to the ocean ultimately and all of those things are affecting our water our water pollution and water supply uh, this next picture shows um, how rainwater simple rainwater can be polluted there's runoff coming from the roof um, the water is coming down from the clouds and hitting the roof and then there's also land runoff. So there might be um, chemicals in your land or on your um, driveway, maybe from oil leaking from your car. And all of that stuff is leading into the street. And those street gutters lead straight into streams, um, which leads to creeks and rivers and ultimately lakes, which also feed into the oceans. All of these things affect our planet, and they're ultimately the causes of water pollution. This next slide shows the devastating effects of water pollution. In 2010, there was a big oil spill in the ocean, and that means that the oil that's kept underground was spilled and was in the water. And it happened near Louisiana, which is in the south, and it affected the beaches of Florida, along with other states along the coast. Um, these pictures show how the oil got into all the water and affected the animals as well. Now, oil is very hard to clean up when it's in water. Um, they try to use boats and take a very thin layer off of the top of the water, which is where the oil lays, and that's called skimming. When the oil is washed up on the beaches, they can also collect it with shovels, um, like in this picture, but it's still a very long, tedious process. It takes a long time to clean up an oil spill, and it can not only affect the United States, but even the world as a whole. This map shows where the oil spill had happened. The yellow area there shows where the oil spill happened, but the red area shows where the oil spill moved to in just a matter of months. And so the oil spill was actually felt in places in Europe as well, even though it only occurred in the United States. So what can we do to help? First, we can be careful about how much water we're using. When we're at home or at school, we can wash our hands without the water running the whole time. You can get your hands wet, then turn it off, and then turn it back on when you're rinsing. You can also take shorter showers or use less bath water. We can make sure we don't pour oil into water and don't put trash in rivers or throw it on the ground. When we get older, we can also choose to walk or ride a bike short distances instead of driving in a car.